Hey there, Red Devils fans. We've got some thrilling updates for you. Jurgen Klopp's surprisingly poor record against Manchester United was revealed with Ten Hag having the edge over legendary boss. In the past three years, he experienced an epic cup defeat, a thumping victory, and a full-blown riot at Old Trafford. Jurgen Klopp declared that he had run out of energy when he announced his impending departure from Anfield, and those visits to Manchester United alone must have drained the German. Klopp said he will not miss grudge matches with United, at least no more than any other game, while stating he has no idea whether he will miss football at all when he takes indefinite leave next month. Tomorrow brings Klopp's final trip to United's crumbling old dream theater, just three weeks after his most recent visit. On that occasion, Old Trafford was a seething bear pit as Eric Ten Hag's men pulled off a stunning 4-3 FA Cup quarterfinal victory with an Ahmad Diallo winner in the final minute of extra time. This is English football's Classico, a day of fear and loathing, a royal blood feud between our two most historically successful clubs. Popular wisdom has it that Liverpool have lorded it over United in Klopp's eight years. Sir Jim Ratcliffe stole a classic Fergusonism when he spoke about wanting to knock Manchester City and Liverpool off their perch. With City, that loftiness is undoubted. But has Klopp truly elevated Liverpool above United throughout his Anfield reign? It may surprise you to read, given the widespread narrative which even Ratcliffe swallowed, but in Klopp's eight seasons, United have finished above Liverpool four times. On Klopp's ten Old Trafford visits, he has won only twice. In all, the German boasts seven victories, drawing eight and losing five. Since Ten Hag joined, United have won twice, Liverpool once, yet that was a historic 7-0 humiliation at Anfield a year ago. Only Klopp's two wins over Ten Hag's Ajax team in 2020 give the Liverpool boss any reason to be positive when looking at the head-to-head -head stats with the Dutchman. But the treacle-coated storytelling of Klopp's long goodbye skews all this. Everton fans will point out he has won fewer English league titles than Howard Kendall or Harry Catterick. Klopp could yet equal those two, given Liverpool lead the table by two points from Arsenal, with City a point further back. First, they must conquer Old Trafford, where recent trips often bordered on the absurd. At the end of the 2020-21 pandemic season, United fans, revolting against owners the Glazers, stormed Old Trafford and forced the fixture to be postponed. The next year, Liverpool eviscerated Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's side, leading 4-0 at halftime on their way to a 5-0 win, which hastened the end of his United reign. Three weeks ago, one of the greatest ever United-Liverpool clashes and an all-time classic FA Cup tie ended Klopp's hopes of a farewell quadruple. Tomorrow, United can inflict another significant wound in Klopp's farewell tour and this bats at mental United team truly is capable of anything. Ten Hag presides over possibly the least predictable team of the Premier League era. Against Liverpool in the Cup, they trailed after 112 minutes and won. At Chelsea on Thursday, they led after 100 minutes and lost. Without extra time, do not bet against another 4-3 win or a 7-0 defeat. Either way, Klopp will not park the bus. He doesn't need to. As he said, Liverpool simply have to play as they did from the 15th minute to 75th minute of last month's cup tie when they were by far the superior team. Perhaps Klopp will leave Old Trafford for the final time on Sunday, with Liverpool's fans crowing and their team on the verge of equaling United's record of 20 English titles. But if they do it, they must rewrite recent history. Whatever most people, including Ratcliffe, will have you believe. Again and again. Eric Ten Hag makes an admission about Manchester United's Champions League qualifying chances. Man United have equaled their worst ever seasons for defeats in the Premier League era after the extraordinary collapse at Chelsea. Eric Ten Hag admits Manchester United must win all eight of their remaining Premier League games to have any chance of qualifying for the Champions League. United drew with Brentford and lost to Chelsea over the last week by conceding goals in added time and they are 11 points adrift of fourth-placed Aston Villa. Finishing fifth could secure Champions League qualification if England finish in the top two of the UEFA seasonal coefficients, but United are nine points behind Tottenham. 
United have failed to qualify for the Champions League four times since Sir Alex Ferguson retired in 2013, and the club changed manager either during or at the end of those campaigns. Yeah, I've said it before. But I think so, yeah, Ten Hag admitted when asked if United needed a faultless finale. In stoppage time this week, we have dropped five points. It is very expensive because the points are getting more expensive because the games are running out and we know that. We have to catch up and we are now many points behind so it will be difficult. But we will keep fighting and I'm sure that you see our team. They have character. We have seen an example today as well. They are resilient and I'm sure they will be there on Sunday to be in the fight against Liverpool. For me personally, I have to manage the game and I have to manage the team, I meant to say. We see we have qualities. We have some great players. We can be in momentum. We can play very high standards. We have seen today an example and we have seen against Liverpool. We can compete with the best. We can beat the best teams in the Premier League. When you do it in the Premier League, you can do it across Europe. But we need to learn now how to win games. It was an example against Chelsea. Saturday was an example. How you bring big games over the line, get three points. We have to step up. We have to make better decisions, individually and as a team. Moving on. The picture that proves Manchester United players struggle to listen to the manager Eric Ten Hag and Heath Ledger's Joker are unlikely bedfellows, but both are agents of chaos. Chaos reigned in the fifth Manchester United match of the season that ended 4-3 at Chelsea. After Cole Palmer's 100th-minute equalizer, United opted for the pioneering 2-3-4-1 formation, seeded possession, Chelsea went close twice, and Palmer then won it from a corner. United were as amateurish as primary school children during a lunchtime kickabout. No concept of positioning, formation, or tactics. Diogo Delote acted on impulse, desperate to atone for the penalty he had clumsily conceded. On Sunday, Ten Hag will likely select the 26th different back four in United's 43rd game of the season. Ten Hag cannot rue bad luck, when three centre-backs have been rushed back over the past week, and they have all dropped like flies. Club doctor Gary O'Driscoll was conversing with assistant manager Mitchell van der Gogg, while Harry Maguire was ordering the bench to remove Raphael Varane. United let Varane continue until half-time, and were let off the hook when Conor Gallagher struck the woodwork. If Varane and Evans are unavailable this weekend, that takes United's record of injuries and illnesses up to 55 for the season. Players have blamed intense training demands and the absence of an external fitness coach seems an oversight. Ten Hag protested that United did not train hard and back the fitness staff he had inherited. An ever-changing defense is exposed by an imperfect midfield. 